What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, today is the 1st of January of 2024 and Happy New Year to all of you my friends. And I am recording this video in order to help MMTLP community to solve the main problem of entire stock market. And that is why, guys, just hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. This uh, simple action uh, will uh, give us an opportunity to push this case forward to the broader audience and eventually it will help us to win this back. So, on today's video, I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you very interesting uh, information from Richard Hoffman in regards uh, to his arbitration and the new deadline that will take place uh, in just a couple of days. Then I will show you an amazing information that potentially we have an evidence and we have this evidence for quite some time that uh, we have a synthetic shares and it is a real uh, bombshell in my opinion. Then I will show you an update from Mark Basile in regards uh, to the trading, traded station issue and I will show you how we can benefit uh, from this situation. So. And let's start with the news itself. Definitely the main, the main news for the last, for the end of 2023 and the beginning of this year is uh, the trading traded station issue. And uh, in general, this is not the biggest uh, broker dealer. It is, uh, as you can see, trade uh, station is the small Florida-based broker that doesn't seem want to go down with the MMTLP criminals. And uh, if uh, this small uh, broker has this uh, imbalance on their uh, books, you can uh, assume that uh, any other broker dealer has the same issue. And guys, we have uh, to understand that uh, if you want to be involved in the process of uh, some kind of litigation, if you want to start this litigation, you have to be primarily affected uh, by this issue. And in general, if you are not a trade, uh, trade station uh, customer, technically you cannot be affected by this issue. But in general, if you think of it uh, from the bigger standpoint, and by the way, Richard Hoffman stated about this uh, clearly in his latest video, and uh, I will explain you some details within just several minutes. But MMTLP community is uh, affected by the trade station issue, because if uh, there is uh, just one counterfeit share and the uh, trade station uh, confirmed this information, any other MMTLP shareholder doesn't have a proper part of uh, their value in the entire company. This means uh, they have uh, a dilution effect on the entire community and this means every single uh, MMTLP shareholder was affected by this issue. And in my opinion, this is very important to know. So, let me show you further. Uh, Iron Ape uh, wrote this uh, tweet uh, just several hours ago and Anna Threads uh, reposted it. And uh, he wrote, uh, 8 to 12 p.m. December 31st, 11 reporting and verified trade station MMTLP shareholders own 52.94% of their master certificate. If you want to participate, please DM me your trade station MMTLP shares. Can also be in ST sent over from a trade station. Updates uh, will be provided until we hit 100% uh, of uh, the floor. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, the screenshot of the table where we know that basically trade station uh, has 122.622 uh, thousand uh, shares. And so far, we have 11 holders uh, who confirmed their ownership of these shares. And uh, their ownership uh, is 52.94%. Uh, we have to reach this number and we have to exceed it in order to know the real share imbalance uh, in this uh, company. And uh, if you are an MMTLP shareholder and you have or had your shares on uh, Trade Station and then you transferred it to AST, please uh, contact uh, uh, Aaron Ape and give him all the information about this. So, let's continue with uh, Richard Hoffman's video. And as you can see, uh, John Burda mentioned uh, in his uh, tweet that Richard does a good job 
in uh, his latest video. And I highly suggest to subscribe to his YouTube channel, Not Legal Advice, because uh, there you will find the latest information directly related to AOMTLP story. On top of that, uh, Richard discloses uh, from time to time uh, some information that is not directly related to our story, but uh, it might be very important and useful in upcoming cases. And uh, Richard in his uh, video, and this video is about 20 minutes long, he explains his current uh, status of uh, the arbitration and he uh, made it uh, again about uh, the uh, removal of uh, the uh, panel of arbiters. And uh, I have to say that he also mentioned about a deadline. And this deadline will take place uh, on January the 3rd. And uh, this is uh, the time when he will file uh, some information to the federal court. And this uh, might also be very important because uh, potentially it might lead to something big from the federal level. Because if uh, every single effort of uh, uh, Richard Hoffman is stonewalled, he will be free to file a lawsuit on the level of federal court instead of arbitration. And there, all the data that he added to his uh, arbitration will be pushed forward to the federal uh, level. And this means uh, we might have another opportunity to file, to see basically another lawsuit. And uh, definitely it is a very good update. And I want to say thank you, Richard, because uh, your work is really important for the community. And uh, with your efforts, I think uh, you will win your cases. So let's continue with other information. We know that uh, Trade Stations uh, has its own rules. And let me show you this uh, tweet that was made 12 hours ago uh, by Trader Zero. And he wrote, LNTLP, here's four pages that undercut you in Trading Station. The laws are secured, by, but not uh, as IPC protected. And here's uh, the screenshot, uh, and you can find this information uh, on their fully paid landing disclosure uh, PDF file. And let me quote to this. The provisions of the Securities Investor Protection Act of uh, 1970 uh, may not uh, protect uh, you with respect uh, to loan securities once such securities are removed from your account and, therefore, the cash collateral uh, delivered to the bank may constitute the only source of satisfaction of broker-dealer's obligations in the event broker-dealer fails to return the loaned, loaned securities. And on the one hand, uh, they are trying to protect themselves in the situation that uh, basically appeared just recently. But on the other hand, let me show you uh, this uh, tweet that was uh, made by Mark Basile five hours ago. He wrote, they can claim that language all they want. There is a Securities Act rule that makes them liable precisely in this situation. This means, guys, uh, in other words, uh, if uh, you made some uh, crime and if uh, you have a document uh, that uh, basically covers your crime, uh, you, it says that you are not a criminal and this is not a crime, it is just uh, your ordinary behavior. It doesn't matter what did you write there. The only matter is the laws. And the laws uh, says that it is a pure violation of Securities Act rule. And this means Mark uh, stated uh, this very clearly. We can sue uh, Trade Station uh, because of uh, this issue. And definitely it is another very good uh, news uh, in our case. So let me show you further. And uh, this is a mind-blowing update because uh, we have another person who mentioned uh, our story on one of the news media. And uh, let me show you uh, this uh, video. And we're investigating um, this retail investment thing where 65,000 shareholders have lost potentially billions of dollars and Gary Gensler won't pay attention to the people because he's focused on DEI and climate controls. Right. So the regulators need to lay off uh, stopping capitalism yeah. uh, and focus in on protecting investors. All right, we have to leave it there, but you dressed really nicely for us, John, and why is that? Well, um, you know, I've been waiting 20 years to get on Roger Stone's international <laughs> best dressed list. 
and I hear he's still taking notes right up till midnight. So, Roger, hopefully <laughs> this is my year. But thank you, buddy. You're welcome. John Tobacco, host of Wise Guys Talk. And we're investing. So, amazing, amazing update. Uh, and as you can see, with all these appearances uh, on uh, mass media sources, uh, we have uh, much bigger exposure on this problem and this leads uh, to much uh, bigger chances to win this battle and i want to say a huge thank you to johnny tabaka because uh, he mentioned about this uh, issue in uh, this uh, news media and uh, i have to say that uh, in my opinion we are about to see a resolution and uh, this resolution will happen in foreseeable future and that is why we have to push this case forward no matter what. And guys, let me show you another, another bombshell for today's video. Uh, this tweet was uh, reposted by John Burda and uh, the original tweet was made by fun, Fine Art uh, and Awesome Things. And he said, uh, chat with Fidelity representative, he says, what I'm uh, looking on your portfolio looks like you have uh, synthetic funds. Sorry, th synthetic shares. So we haven't received shares uh, just yet uh, from NBY customer. So I was right. I have synthetic shares, correct? Fidelity rep, rep correct. And this is a pure evidence that uh, we have uh, a confirmation from Fidelity that uh, uh, there is a synthetic shares uh, on the uh, balance sheet uh, of at least one broker dealer. And uh, fine art and also things uh, refers to this uh, tweet that was made by Paul T just a couple of hours ago. And he refers to the video that was published, guys, one year ago by Wild Thank Mank channel. That is uh, basically a tiny channel with 133 subscribers. And here you can see the video for 16 minutes long where we have this uh, uh, information about uh, synthetic shares uh, on Fidelity. So this is great information for our case uh, for the 1st of January. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag.